He, he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> he doesn't care. But if he got ready to go, yeah, he would go out there and squat down and talk. Um, gorgeous. And he's running down. Yeah, my mother, children. she drove the school bus for Really? I didn't come through there. On I was trying to figure out what room that was. Um, they have all sorts of things. Yeah. They, they, they love deserves. Washington Post. Yeah. 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 I think the neighbor would do a strawberry out of the food. When you're out here and you're by I'm yourself, and in the middle of the night, you hear something break, and the motion lights come on. Don't worry about it. Um, these deer like to hop over the fence and come around. And uh, I heard, in the wee hours, I heard something back here, and uh, like a twig break. And then that light came on. And, you know, nothing's there is people are as scared as you are. <laughs> I don't know who you do. Yeah. I don't know who that is. This is my dad. Is that what was it? Is that your dad and mom? That, I don't know where they are. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Love. This is my was my cousin from up north, but she's passed away. You know, nobody's passing away. Hmm. On my mother's birthday, the twenty first of April. It hailed really hard out here. Is that the air? Is it working? The fans are on. Has <laughs> 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 anything done to it since it's been put in? Yeah. This is my mother. And she would park the bus right over there. And when she drove so many times she and gave up, uh, the sister-in-law over there drove. You don't see a snake moving. I was in the woods out there and I usually wear my snake boots. Never saw a snake, never, nothing. That's good well, snake woods out there. Yeah, they, they love to be near shed or near junk. Yeah, one time my mother would be, you know, drive the school bus. And then during the summer, she would, and they all spent the uh, summer over on A1A in a house. And my mother says, when she got back, she saw there were things breaking down and I'm not ever leaving this house. <laughs> See, she's, she's pretty healthy looking. If, you, if somebody asked you, what would you say is your favorite part about growing up here? Okay, we could do a lot of them. Oh, let me tell you, you can also go blueberry picking. You can pick blueberries anywhere you want to. And we would, uh, come June, I'd be sitting in there by the window. I said, oh my goodness, what are we going to do all summer? This would be the first day out. <laughs> so we would start, um, Picking blueberries. Did you make jam? Oh, Mama would make a pie. Did she make a pie? Yes. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> well, I, I thought if I could get my stuff together correctly, I'd teach you two how to knit. I love to learn. And you too. Yeah.
think and remember all that. <clears throat> and my mother would give me a, a what was it? A penny. Penny around. And my brother, he was older than me, dime around. Ten. Well, I didn't have to buy gas for an automobile because I didn't have one. <laughs> but you know, it, it has always been interesting. And uh, my dad had an old jalopy. And for some reason, I was always the one that wanted to ride with him. You know, and he'd drive me back here and back up Brammers and further back. And, and then he turned around and just come back and it caught fire. <laughs> mm. Mm. He says, jump, jump, jump. So I jumped. <laughs> Has Brammer Road been there or was it put in because of their house? Because of the house, 1980. Okay. See, over here, those people did not want anybody coming through. Either. And uh, with that fellow from over there, and I told him, I, he would come up here and he'd talk for a long time. And I said, oh, I hope you don't mind talking about me being out here. Listen, I said, you come and go and do whatever you want to. But he, he says, oh, I didn't feel like putting my money out here unless I paid for it. I said, you're right. So he would come over here, like on, a, I think, his off day. And he said, oh, did you hear those Sand Hill oh, people? Oh, birds. Do you all see them? They're this high. Mm -hmm. And that, this. He is one flying this way. I said, I love to hear him. But anyway, he was very friendly, and I know having to tell people they can't go through there hurt him. I said, Listen, you don't worry about people, but don't you put your money uh, somewhere like this because. Oh, uh, you, you need to own it. I don't care who it is. He was so nice. Well, Tony, you can't get into DuPont Road from DuPont oh, Road. Oh, yeah. Uh, come around, this, it's gated off. This lawyer told us that we're going farther then. And so I have been over there, but I, if, if this is dry, I'd rather, you know, do that, that one. <coughs> and it is dry. We did not get any rain to speak of. Um, and where the camp is over there, there's, um, in the woods, there's, uh, fig bushes. They've never been watered, they've never, never been fertilized or anything. And we can't even, well, this one is beginning to do something, I guess. <laughs> we had a huge peach tree in the back. There was a garage back over outside. I mean, that thing was huge. Came up from seed. And then the persimmons are coming along, aren't they? I haven't looked. They were last There was some. <coughs> yeah. Do you all eat persimmons? Mm -hmm. When you come over, get some, because I'm sure some of them got wasted. September, October. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if anybody says anything, it, you tell them, I said so. <laughs> I, I love with some because they're so good. But anyway, in thinking about that Eatman house, they had those uh, uh, screened-in areas out. There's a it was a middle porch, and they had those. Uh, I 
call them safes or something. They put something in there that they want to be kind of cool. A pie safe? Huh? Like a pie safe, punch tin, yeah, yeah. or water. And two, uh, they had cisterns, they had fireplaces, they had a that middle porch where all the cats <laughs> they love cats. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, they had uh, cats everywhere. Better not tell them. <coughs> My daughter-in-law's had, had brought a big cat down and they stayed at my house. The cat was on the back porch, and it sat right through the screen. <laughs> I mean, boom. <laughs> I said, Nana, you can't bring the cat. So I think they're bringing a camping trailer and putting the cat in it. Oh, well, turn the cat loose. Uh -huh. <laughs> we we uh, don't really care for a cat because they don't stay around. But Aunt Beatman's had cats, the Braddock's had cats, and oh, she wanted me to tell you all, uh, this, one of these big two-story buildings, Owens, that you saw, uh, my granddad was the second in line, but his, um, dad, uh, put him in charge. This is and the Eatmans? Yeah. And I wondered if Aussie might have been sick or something, but he lived in that big two-story house. Huh? And I stayed down there one time with Estelle. But she could make a cake, mix it up, use real butter, real eggs, and the layers were bright yellow. Oh, she didn't use turtle eggs. Did you tell about <laughs> turtle eggs? Yeah. You know, years ago, this is before uh, they outlawed it, uh, these young people riding the beach, they uh, would pick up turtle eggs. They'd take them to a bakery because the yolk is so yellow and it makes the the layers so pretty and yellow. Hmm. You can't even get, yeah. My brother used to have a beach buggy and he, of course he would talk to all the girls over there also. <laughs> <laughs> he knew um, this fellow, oh, well he was the same age, a uh, Frenchman, he would hew down cocaine and made a cocaine motel out of it. And of course he had a couple of nice daughters and JD had to go visit with them. <laughs> so that was the grandfather of <coughs> Catherine Harrison. R Robinson. Harrison. Yeah. Catherine Harris. Huh. Well, um, and Diane Harris. Yeah. Well, how do you like do you, now? Where do you live in the L section? Uh, he lives in the L section. I, I live in the B section. The B. B. So that could be across the uh, interstate from me. This is several B section. This is the uh, the B A B A section. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I would, uh, last time we almost had a depression, like 2007, mm -hmm. yep. Publix had bought the property on Matanzas and US-1. Mm -hmm. And you know, 
I mean, uh, everything went down. And so they got out of that one. I used to go over there and play golf. <laughs> this one, this was so funny. When I came down, let me see. I played tennis. This, you know, it was really odd. Um, they, the Y sent somebody out to teach us uh, neighborhood women to play golf, uh, tennis. And it wasn't long before he put me in charge. I never played tennis before. Hmm. And it was, he would tell me how to beat this long arm person. She had four big boys, and boy, she could slam the ball. He said, say it, back up, back up. And you know, I won the turkey. <laughs> and pretty quick, the next go around, he let me teach tennis. <laughs> it wasn't that I was good, he just needed somebody. And so, uh, one time I was teaching these women, and it was time for them to go, so they left, and this old slowpoke comes. It was sleeting. Mm. Oh, it was terrible. In Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she was married to a chemist. And, you know, they're kind of smart. She said, you know, they are so smart that you have to tell them to pull their pants up. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Okay, but she would call as they were leaving, so we had to play through all the sleep. But uh, I can't remember her name. But we had a time, and you know, in going back home, we had to go by this. You remember that big two-story house on the hill? Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody had pythons and let and put them out to sun in the winter time. <laughs> Mm. That was here or in Alabama. I would not have one. I mean, this long, and I think he shut them up in the bathroom at night. And when you moved here, you took up golf, huh? When you moved here, you, you I think you played tennis here some, and but you yeah. took up started golf. And These old fellows, they loved to hit a tennis ball right at me. And some learn they were going to get it back. <laughs> and that was the uh, uh, the tennis. I was playing with these older men. And they knew they could pin me down because I'd be playing the net. And, and then I got to the net and learned how to do that. And then after that, I played uh, golf. I was over there at Pine Lakes. And this woman was playing, uh, we were just practicing. She said, see ya, I want you to go with me over to the other golf course. And I want you to beat this woman. <laughs> you, you're there telling me what to do. And it uh, took me a little while, but I did it. You but, enjoyed it too. Yes, I did. <laughs> I enjoyed her. <laughs> but she, she was moody. Uh, this woman. She was trying to fuss at everybody. And so, uh, but let me tell you about this one woman. She was all the way across the golf course. I hit a ball and hit her right in the leg. Now how can you do that? And she told me, I will always remember you. <laughs> and I told her, I will always remember hitting you. <laughs> When I saw her the next time, she let me know. She remembered. Yep. But you know, you're supposed to, before you hit it hard, a golf ball, you know, they're hard. You're supposed to guide it the right way. But we did get to play, uh, if this, uh, we volunteered when this group came to town. And uh, somebody got us in to play at this very fancy golf course. Amy Dunes? I think so. I was trying to remember. And talking about 
hard to play. I mean, one of the golf courses, you had to pitch it up and over. And you know I did it. I think it was at LPGA. Mm -hmm. It's not that I was good, it just happened to be that way. Did you tell them about, um, oh no, I can't remember, um, your uncle who had the club foot? Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I forgot. Um, my granddad Eatman, um, he, uh, this son of theirs, he, when he dresses, the son, when he dressed, and they all dressed in white with a black leather belt. So he, um, this uh, Uncle Worth was born, or had club feet. And it's so sad to see a, a baby, you know, have that. So he goes out to Bunnell, and he and the pharmacist talk. And you know, they worked together, and they fixed a brace for him. He outgrew it. Dr. Holden. Huh? Holden? Holden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, and then Charlotte, the, uh, she, it was her dad with the club feet. And she says, I don't know why the other two brothers didn't, uh, pay him more attention. I said, because he does not work hard. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. And But those two older brothers, they were cowboys. They would uh, run us out here in the bushes. You know, Uncle Worth, I'm not Uncle Worth. Uh, Uncle Willard and Uncle Truman. Had you ever heard of that? I mean, they would get wound up. These are cowboys. <laughs> and they would run us through out there, and Mama would be hollering, Stop it! Stop it! And you know, when we got into the yard, we dove under the house. <laughs> but Uncle Worth never did that. But I have a picture of him with white clothes on. Everybody, all men wore white and a black belt. And Uncle Worth really, Uncle Worth really looked good. I said, well, sure, it's because he shouldn't be working. And that's why the two older ones are like that. Don't pay them any attention. <laughs> but, you know, Fagler County has always been a farm place. And you know, uh, down at the Eatman place, they had a dipping vat. You know, they, uh, it's a trench, and they fill it up with water and put some, some uh, medicine in it, and that gets rid of the ticks. And everybody's interested in that vat. Is it still there? Hmm? Is it still there out in the woods? Or? Uh, no, it's... Right there on the golf course. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. It's, um, but um, it seems like these cattlemen in the, out in the country, they remember him. My, my granddad. But, uh, Did you talk about the Eatman with the big barn? The big barn? The barn and the carriage? Oh, no. Uh, now, this big house, and I was showing you all pictures of it. Um, it's where uh, Alsie, the oldest one, stayed. And I don't think he did a whole lot of work. I think maybe something was wrong with him. But anyway, uh, when it came time for, uh, well, Kelvin passed away. They had to go all the way down to the Everglades to get my granddad. My granddad was not married at that time. 
he was down there hunting with the Indians. He had it made, didn't he? But anyway, he was second in line. But Aussie, I think, either something was wrong with Aussie or, or whatever, but they went down and got him to take, because Calvin had passed away. But anyway, uh, but that, I'm sure he had a nice buggy somewhere. But anyway, uh, Aussie had the other big house, and he just didn't do a whole lot of work. But this buggy, horse buggy, it was shiny, you wouldn't believe. It was in their barn. It was that other house. And uh, that carriage was upstairs. It was a beautiful carriage. So I guess Mr. Aussie could wherever you wanted to. <laughs> and my dad had to work. My granddad had to work. But anyway... Uh, but they could get that carriage up there. In the well, you know, a few thing. years later, uh, some of the high school boys asked me, is that carriage still in the barn? And he knew about it. I said, I guess so. <laughs> but see, they uh, were... They were not that far from the intercoastal. And so you could walk along the intercoastal and take a, a, a walk and head up to the house, but all that's gone. Hmm. All of it. Because when the subdivision got in there, there was nothing left. Well, I'm working on getting permission to go into search the golf course, historically searching? The Even? Uh, I mean the <coughs> Even golf course? Mm -hmm. well, the, the, uh, probably not, unless you go at night. No. <laughs> if you go at night, right? <laughs> okay. She's trying to get people uh, in But they told us that Hello, on their know. off day, that they would let, a, uh, let us borrow a golf cart and uh, do it. But if you went down Davis grade, you know, you can go so many feet, and there's the golf course right there. And during the day, you can hear them hitting that ball. <laughs> it's, it's gated up, Mom. Huh? It's gated up. Davis Grade has a gate across it. Can't sneak down there. Y'all have to learn to. Not at night, it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I could. Jump. Actually, they could come down here and uh, go through the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you went out there, what would be a good place to look for history? To what? To look for history or where things oh. were. I know okay. where the house was supposed to be. Like okay. The, the, there's On a point. This, um, now, that property, they can't tell you to get out. That is... Uh, um, What's the name of it? St. John's River Water Meter. Mm -hmm. They have it now. You can't hunt on it, but you certainly can walk around it. And out here, you can walk around. They told me, uh, uh, you'll always have an easement. Yeah, and there's, on the golf course near the where the house was, there was a row of, a row of palm trees. I think they're still standing. Um, the uh, hunting club had that the last go around, oh. and um, he would tell us what to look for okay. in this um, a mill, some sort of a mill thing, water, oh, okay. and some of that um, sulfur water is up this hill yeah, because let me see what did they do if if there was something like that they were pumping water or something mm -hmm. and i think that at one time water came up and they grew rice there now we would get my dad up you know when we were growing up I'm like, on sunday he said i got to take my nap 
I said, 